welcome back to the channel and today we're going to look at a Alpine 3650 RL fifth wheel. The 3650 is a rear living 40 foot fifth wheel by Alpine made by Keystone RV and Keystone RV this is one of their luxury brands. The Alpine 3650 is a 40 foot fifth wheel weighing in at about 13,000 pounds loaded with features. Now the 3650 has been around as a floor plan for about the last 10 years but continuously gets updated and reimagined but to give you an idea to last that long the popularity of this floor plan and the layout is fantastic. Let's look at a couple of features outside and then we'll take a walk inside to really look at the beauty. Big molded cap up front with our backup mirror which makes hitching really easy. LED light strip there so if you're hitching at night we'll throw some light down for you to be able to hitch easily. This has the road armor um, a hitch pin, sorry, I got caught with a deep breath. Hitch pin, which actually has this special uh, rubberized puck in here, which takes chucking out. There's, it's a little hard to see, we'll look at it inside. There's a nice big window at the front. Now, this Alpine also has generator prep, so it's already here for you, ready to go. We have hydraulic leveling, not electric, and that's a six-point automatic leveling system. So we have our second set of jacks here, and then the third set right behind the wheels. Of course, big rims, big tires, heavy-duty tires. We have our sure step, or our solid steps by Lippert here, prepped of course for our side cameras and as I've mentioned in a previous video we run those side cameras by Furion on our Denali fifth wheel and they are a must-have in my eyes just really makes towing easy massively huge storage compartment in here you'll notice it's very clean very little plumbing accessing it and actual tie downs there's four of them here in that storage compartment if you want to secure gear but look at the size of that opening of course it's set up for two batteries and we have our solar flex 200 which we'll show you inside in a second outside a couple other things to note frameless windows which is pretty much becoming a standard in the industry these days but two massively large awnings to really give you lots of shade in your camping area Let's uh, cover one other thing before we go inside. Now, the Alpine is built on a Z frame, meaning there's a lowered frame in the front, plus an additional heavy frame that comes back through the unit. When you look at that I-beam, you'll notice the massive size of the I-beam to carry the weight of the trailer, give you stability, and less creaking and rolling of the unit itself. So let's go inside and see where the real beauty of this unit is. First thing you'll notice when we walk in, four door fridge, that's an 18 cubic foot fridge. When we open her up, just to give you an idea, even when we open half, you can see the size of the fridge and the freezer here. Nice kitchen layout, very residential styling, so you don't have the cheapy little vent hoods that we typically see. You know, they've done it really nice, and then in wood, and then you can see good updraft in the fan. We have a four, four burner range with a big oven residential microwave, and one of my favorites of these Alpines, I'm calling it the coffee station, right? But this compartment that opens up and the doors that slide in and out of the way. So you could have your Nespresso there, your Keurig. If you like baking, you could throw um, your KitchenAid mixer in there. There's lots of space. Plus, when you look around, there's just an abundance of storage everywhere. But let's jump to this slide here and finish off. We've got our fireplace that throws heat, our media center with speakers, of course, our big flat screen TV. 
And then as we spin around, we've got a nice large sofa that'll convert for sleeping. And a nice little feature here, we have on both sides, we have these wireless chargers. Now, I'm gonna spin around for a second just so you can see the lighting. I didn't take you around to the power side, but we are not plugged in. Um, at this point, I'm gonna say a special thank you to Bella Vista for giving us access to this unit. This unit is way back on their lot and it's not plugged into power. And this is the advantage of the Solar Flex 200. We actually have all the lights on here. We put the awnings out, we put the awning lights on, and we're not running on any power other than the power of solar. So it's our solar panel that's giving us enough electricity to run these lights. Plus, let's do a little experiment here for you. Here's my phone. So you're in a parking lot, you've stopped for some lunch, or maybe you're in a really rustic campground and there's no power and you're having to run off of solar. Look at this. We can actually charge our phone off of the solar with these wireless pads, even though we have no other power. So you're not going to lose some of your technology gadgets when you're out camping or you've stopped, you're not gonna have to run a generator to do some of these basics. Now, to run a microwave, to run our fridge, um, what we will do one day is try one of the TVs, see if we can get a TV running off the solar flex. We might get the TV, but microwave, stove, um, those type of things, well, stove is gonna be propane, I should take that back, but microwave, the fridge here is propane electric, so it'll run on propane. We don't have to worry about the electric side. We can run a number of these items without worrying on the solar flex. And being an RVer, that for me is exciting to see a unit like this. Now we have power recliners over on this side, right across from the TV. And yes, they're Thomas Paine, so good quality for those of you that don't know Thomas Paine. You're gonna get good reliability out of them. Nice big windows in the unit, freestanding dinette in here, and this massive island. And they've gone residential style. You notice, not only do we have the solid surface counters in here, but we have the dark wood on this side. And as we spin around, on our cabinetry, we have the light cabinetry back here to match the rest of the unit. Now let's make our way forward here and take a look at some of the hidden gems. We have a big storage closet here that has hanging in it, so you could use it as a closet for clothes, but our washer dryer prep is here. You could put a combination washer dryer and still utilize storage, or you could put a stacking washer dryer in here as well. In this compartment, we have a little more storage. We have our central vac right here, and you would have seen in the other closet in the corner, there were the hoses. Some good shelving just to put extra items, whether it be food, DVDs, whatever it may be. And then up here, we have our in-command center. So what I'm gonna do, is open up the in-command here and we can see we have the optional generator to access our awnings, our slide outs, our lights, um, our tank heaters, our HVAC. It's all right here at our fingertips and it's all color and you can get an app on your phone that will allow you to have these functions on your phone and then you can take a look, you can see your tanks as well. You know, how full, how empty are they? It's right at your fingertips. Then your water heater switch is right here. Just makes it easy. And remember that Solar Flex, if you haven't seen one of our earlier videos, that Solar Flex is a solar panel that is mounted to the roof, but raised off the roof, better cooling for the panel. If you ever had to service it, you can actually unbolt it rather than having to rip it up off the roof. And then, you know, you'll have inverter on a unit like this unit, so you could put bigger batteries or put lithium ion. 
Now let's take a walk up the steps. Now the 3650, as you notice here, is a reverse side aisle. Our aisle, normally in a fifth wheel, you come in and this aisle way is next to the door. It's on the opposite side of the door. And that lets us just change up the design a little bit. Big washroom, so we have a porcelain toilet. There's good room here, you'll notice, to get out and get changed. Big shower, and that's a full fiberglass surround. It has the seat on board and the little nooks to put your soap and shampoos. Good clearance height and a nice big skylight here as well. Nice big countertop space, several drawers and storage underneath. Hi folks. And then our mirror, of course, for getting ready. And then some additional storage here. And as we've shown on other units, you'll want to look for the inverted outlets on any of the Keystone products. Now, king size bed as we move into the bedroom. So you have a double entry. You have an entry into the washroom which goes into the hall or an entry from the hall into the bedroom. So if you do have some guests you've got privacy here. Big, big king size bed on a slide. Great wardrobe space up front, good drawers, and a couple of little hidden features, right? We've got a, a nice big open storage spot if you wanted to put some bins there, but we also have a little nook in here that you could put your wallet, your jewelry, different items that maybe you don't want laying out. And then that window that I mentioned, you really couldn't see it from outside because it blends with the cap, but from inside lets lots of light. There is a privacy screen so you can bring it down uh, if you want to sleep in in the morning and you don't want the light at night shining out where people might be able to see in. Across from the, the bed we have another wardrobe space, a little sitting area with some storage. So let's pop that up and you'll notice just some storage down there if you want to put some extra pillows, maybe a big comforter you could hide away in there. And then a big window and our TV. Now we do have an air conditioner up top here in the bedroom. And as we spin around to make our way back, so you can get an overall view, we have a second air conditioner in the living space itself as well. You'll notice that ceiling fan. Residential features again, things like the lights that hang down over your island, but they look more residential style with all their finishings. So just a nice overall layout. Now this 3650 has pretty much remained very similar, but getting updates like that coffee station and the change in appliances. But Alpine has always made sure that it's had all the key features. If you're in that market, you're looking for a more luxurious fifth wheel, you have that larger tow vehicle, you really want to take that luxury and that feeling at home, or maybe you're full-timing, because this Alpine will be a full-timer's coach. You could full-time in this. It's a great option to be considering. Anyways, I want to say thank you to you, our viewers, for viewing the video. Uh, please check out other videos on our channel. If you like the video, please click the like button. Mash that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. We're pushing to 10,000 subscribers and beyond. That'll help give us access to more great product that we can bring you. Um, Please leave your comments below. Special thank you to Bella Vista RV. You can visit them at bellavistarv.com and I'll put a link below. They do put pricing. I won't talk pricing in videos because some of the dealers that give me access to their product will put pricing and that way, even if you're looking at this video six months, a year and a half later, you can go to their website and take a look at what the current pricing is based on dollar exchange change and shipping and what's happening in the marketplace. Anyways, thank you to you guys. I look forward to seeing you out in the campground. Bruno from RVing TV, make sure you live life to the fullest each and every day.